Hello YouTube, I'm Efren225 and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install and use the Weapon Ranks plugin by Goinza. Now in the default SRBG Studio engine, weapon levels work similarly to the way they do in the first and third Fire Emblem games, the ones with Marth in them. Uh, each unit has a weapon level stat that goes up randomly when they level up, along with their other stats according to their growth rates. And in order to use any individual weapon, the unit must have a weapon level stat equal to or higher than the weapon level of the individual weapon, in addition to being a class that uses that particular weapon type. Now, if you want to use a system similar to the later Fire Emblem games where they introduce letter grades for weapon levels that go up individually according to how often you've used that particular type of weapon, this is the plugin you want to use. It's very, very easy to install and use, but you're going to have to learn how to install plugins and use custom parameters. So that's what this video is going to teach you, hopefully. So installing a plugin is very simple. In your projects folder, there will be a plugin folder. Go into that folder and then drag and drop all of the plugins you want to use for your game into that folder. These are all of the JavaScript plugin files for the weapon rank system. So go ahead and just drag and drop them there. Note that any file starting with a dollar sign is going to be ignored by the system. This allows you to put readme files into your plugin folder and they will be ignored so they won't do any harm. Now the weapon rank system makes heavy use of something called custom parameters. Almost everything in SRPG Studio can have a custom parameter attached to it. These are user defined parameters and they can be used by plugins in order to allow the user to be able to determine additional properties about whatever you're making a custom parameter for. So in this case, we'll start by editing the custom parameters for the weapons and items because they are the easiest to edit. So go into the custom parameter editor for whatever weapon you are editing and all of your custom parameters must be between curly brackets and then just type the name of whatever parameter you want to define, in this case REQ, which will be the parameter that determines the required rank for using that weapon. Then put a colon and then type whatever you want to define the parameter to be. In this case, we are going to make it E in quotations. That is going to be the required letter grade for this weapon. And then always separate your custom parameters with commas. Line breaks don't matter, but always separate your custom parameters with commas. And then type WEXP. This custom parameter will determine how many weapon experience points use of this weapon will give. You'll get weapon EXP regardless of whether you hit or miss, but every attack with this weapon is going to give however many WEXP you define. So in this case, we'll just make it one. You can add these custom parameters for any other weapon or item in the game, including staves. So these are the simplest custom parameters to edit. Right, so now I'll show you how to edit the starting weapon ranks for the individual units. So go into the custom parameters, for whatever unit you are editing. The custom parameter is called rank, and this is going to be an array, so it's a little bit trickier to edit, I would say. You put arrays between square brackets, and in those square brackets, you can put another set of square brackets with the weapon type in quotation marks, followed by a comma, and then whatever value you want the rank to start at. So in this case, we'll make it one. And uh, this numerical value is how much weapon experience you want the unit to start with. You don't put a rank in quotation marks. You put a numerical value here. And if you want the unit to start with multiple uh, types, you can put a comma and then put another set of square brackets and then type whatever weapon type you want in quotations, followed by a comma, and then the numerical value that you want them to start at again. So again, the line breaks don't matter, just make sure you separate all of this with commas. I should also mention, by the way, that with this plugin and weapon rank system, even if the unit's class can use a particular weapon, if you do not define a starting rank for that unit, then they will not be able to use that weapon type. They need both a starting weapon rank and they need to be in a class that uses that particular weapon type. Now it is also possible to define minimum and maximum weapon ranks for each individual class. The way you do that is very similar to what we just did with the starting weapon ranks for individual units. The parameter for minimum rank is min rank, and then you put in 
an array with all of the definitions that you want. So let's say the minimum rank for Lord is sword, and we'll make the minimum rank 31. This will make sure that the class always starts with a D in swords, because 31 is when you get a D for weapon ranks. For max weapon ranks, the parameter is max rank, so we are going to put max rank, and then another array, and we will make the maximum rank, um, when do you get a rank? Well, actually, we could just type in 250, or is it 249? I think it's 249, so I'll just put that. I can't remember exactly. So what I've just done here is that I have ensured that the unpromoted Lord class cannot get an S rank in swords because I'm pretty sure 249 is just before S rank for swords. And I have made it so that they always start with a D in swords because the minimum rank is 31 or a D. It's very simple. This allows you to do things like stop unpromoted units from reaching S ranks. And you can also make it so that when they promote to a new class, they automatically have a certain rank in whatever new weapon types they might have picked up. It's very nice. And it also helps with enemy units because instead of having to define the custom parameters for each individual enemy unit, you can just give the class a minimum rank and then every enemy of that class will have that rank automatically. So you don't need to set up individual weapon ranks unless you want them to have a higher rank so that they can use a better weapon. So that's the basics of using the weapon ranks plugin. I have shown you how to edit the starting weapon ranks for individual units. This works for both player and enemy units, by the way. I have shown you how to edit the minimum and maximum weapon ranks for individual classes. And I have shown you how to assign a weapon rank requirement to individual weapons and items. And this does work for staves, by the way. However, those aren't the only features this plugin has. There are actually a lot more features to this plugin that make it very, very versatile. So one thing you can do is that you can go into your custom parameters for the individual units, add a parameter called rank skills. This parameter is going to be an array and it basically defines what skills the unit can learn when it reaches a certain rank with a particular weapon type. So for example, you can say sword, uh, sword, not sword, sword, comma, comma, please, thank you, I'm a wreck right now, and then you put in whatever rank, and then you put a numerical value, this numerical value is going to be the ID of the skill you want the unit to learn at this rank for this weapon. So yes, what I've basically just defined here is at sword rank C, the unit will learn skill 15. This numerical value is the ID of the skill that you want to learn. I don't actually know what skill 15 is, but I'm just using it as an example. But it doesn't just have to be the individual unit that learns the skill. You can also make it so that all units learn that skill at that particular rank. To do that, go into your weapon types, which are under config and weapon types. And for the custom parameters of the weapon type, we can also define the rank skills parameter again and you don't need to define the uh, type of weapon because you're already defining a custom parameter for a type of weapon so you can just type the rank that you want the skill to be learned at and then the id of the skill again i don't know what skill number 12 is i'm just uh using this as an example so it can be like three houses where units would learn different skills at different weapon ranks for individual weapon types and maybe they would have a personal skill that they get at whatever rank for whatever weapon type very very nice and speaking of skills, it is also possible with this plugin to create a skill that increases the amount of weapon EXP that a unit earns. To do that, go to your skills, create a new skill, and check the bubble here for custom. This is going to be a custom skill. And the keyword for this, the custom keyword, is going to be discipline. And to edit the custom keyword, you just uh, click on the box under skill effects. And then in the custom parameters for this skill, the custom parameter is going to be multiplier. This parameter determines what the multiplier for however much weapon EXP you are earning is. So it could be two if you want the multiplier to double the amount of weapon EXP. And it can also be 1.5 if you just want a 50% increase. It can be whatever you want. So that's how to create the discipline skill in this system. Very nice.
Another feature of this plugin is that it lets you create a stat booster that increases the weapon ranks of the unit that uses them, or you can also make an item that grants a new weapon type to that unit entirely. So here's how. Uh, first go into your items and create an item that is a stat booster. This will only work with the stat boosting item type. So go into the custom parameters for that item, and the first custom parameter is rank up. This will be an array that determines which types that the unit will gain a rank in whenever they use the item. So for example, you can define just one weapon type or you can define multiple weapon types. Again, make sure they're all in quotations and separated by commas. It's just like this. So this item I've just created will increase the sword, lance, and axe ranks of the unit that uses it by one. They will automatically go to whatever the next rank is. And you can also define a second custom parameter called rank new. And what this parameter does is that it makes the item give the unit access to an entirely new kind of weapon. So in this case, I can make it rank new and then bow, and then it will give the unit access to bows whenever, when they use the item. However, keep in mind that the unit not only has to have a rank for the weapon type in order to be able to use it, the class also has to be able to use the weapon type as determined by their class. So if they use this item, they will suddenly have a rank in bows, but if their class can't use bows, then you know it, they still can't use bows. Just keep that in mind. So one final note I want to make about weapon types is that if you have two weapon types that share the same name, then the system will consider them to be the same rank. Like um, if you have, for instance, a magic type that is called, let's make it white magic, and then you have an item type that is also called white magic, then any unit with a rank in white magic will uh, have it count towards both of these types, both the weapon type and the item type. This allows you to do something similar to three houses where white magic not only had healing spells but also attack spells as well, so it's possible to do that. So with all of that editing out of the way, let's see how it works in game. As you can see, the required rank for the sword is being displayed here. And there is now a new page in the unit menu that displays all the unit's weapon ranks. And everything seems to be working. Both units can use this weapon. He missed an 81. Wow. So the last thing I want to go over is the rank config options file. By editing this file, you can further customize the system. So let's open it up and see. Uh, you don't really need any sort of coding knowledge in order to edit this. So first thing you can edit is the rank system array. This array determines how many ranks there are, what they are called, and what the required weapon exp to get to them is. This variable show unused weapons. If it is set to true, it will display all weapon types in the game regardless of whether or not a unit can use them on that unit's unit menu window. So just like you saw earlier, if you set this to true, that is what you are going to see. And finally, we have the gauge color. This determines the color of the weapon rank gauge. It can be either blue, green, or red. Uh, set it to 1 for blue, 2 for green, and 3 for red. If you set it to 0, it's going to be completely blank because that's the empty uh, that's the empty gauge color. Now the last feature I want to go over with this plugin is creating a custom weapon rank gauge. So in order to create a custom gauge, uh, I'll assume you have created your graphic. Go and put it into the folder gauge under UI. So the folder will be in your project folder, go to UI, and then go to gauge, and then your custom graphic for your gauge will be put into this folder. And then in SRPG Studio, go to resources, UI, and then you can import the gauge like you would with any other custom asset. So once that's done, then once you have the gauge imported, go to database, go to config, and then go to script and then go to the global parameters tab. This allows you to define parameters that are basically accessible by anywhere within the game. So plugins can access these parameters, etc. So just like with per custom parameters, put uh, some curly brackets 
and then the two parameters that we are going to define is weapon rank gauge and the other parameter is is runtime gauge so weapon rank gauge will be the ID of the asset that you just imported it's the first asset I imported so it's going to be zero for me and then the second parameter is runtime gauge determines whether or not you're using a default asset in my case that's going to be false so if I've done all of this right then my custom asset should show up in game let's see if it does And there you go. It might be difficult to see, but that is in fact my custom asset. So that is everything there is to know about the Weapon Ranks plugins by Goinza. Very, very versatile system with a lot more features than when I first used it. So this is definitely one of my top recommended plugins for anybody who's making a game with SRPG Studio. So that's all for now, and I will see you for whatever video I make next. I want this to kind of be a series of how to install and use recommended plugins. So I will, uh, so I'll see you later for the next video.